Welcome to my channel, this is Rosa and today I'm gonna be talking about how I got into the USA by cleaning. Well, the cleaning job not only provided me with shelter, food, everything that I that a person needed, also changed my life completely. So as each of us have a dream, you know, nice life, housing, clothing, and food. So my, when I left my little town where I used to work mostly at the farm growing potato, so I, I really wanted to go somewhere else. I knew that there was a place that I wanted to go and I asked to our Lord when I was probably five years old, I asked that I, God take me to a place where I could be able to eat delicious meals I could dress nice dress and visit nice places, buildings. I was just so, so decided to go anywhere where I could be able to enjoy all this, all those things. So that is where I left my little town to downtown Lima, where I started to work. My first job was a, as a cleaning. During the nighttime, I went to school. I wanted to become a teacher, so so I could be uh, I could be able to earn money and provide for my children in the in the future so that's what that's why i decided to go during the night time to school so i kept studying while i was learning how to clean uh, the first day of my job it was kind of challenging because why should i clean this is completely shiny why should i clean i don't see any dirt on the floor or nothing it's just a little crumbs Yes, dust, I didn't even notice what it was dusty. So I had to learn how to clean, uh, polish the tables, uh, dust, mop, clean, um, everything I, I learned while I was working as a cleaning. That was my first job, as I just said, in downtown Lima, which is a beautiful city in Peru. So I just kept cleaning and cleaning, of course, I. Sometimes wanted to go back to my little town, but deep in my heart, I wanted to just stay there, stay there, so I could get swelling. I will become a professor, I will become a teacher. I was studying to become a teacher, so I kept studying and studying, and, but it was very challenging. I did, I did go to school during the night time, and I kept working during that daytime because I did not want to go back to my little town, even though my body wanted, but deep in my heart, I didn't want to go back so I kept working and working and then suddenly suddenly was there was an opportunity for me to come to this country I never even imagined how I got into the USA by cleaning I never even imagined by cleaning I imagine maybe I should maybe I said well I was working at in Lima downtown I knew it already about the United States United States um, China knew about France uh, all those places so I I was just starting to dream while working while cleaning mopping scrubbing the floors I was just dreaming about the United States oh my gosh wouldn't it be wonderful to just uh, see those Miami Beach uh, those uh, beach those um, oceans and those big buildings in the New York City wouldn't be nice I was just dreaming and dreaming and dreaming just kept thinking and trying to uh, think about how could I be able to go. Maybe I should just play the lottery and then win the lottery ticket and I will be able to travel all the world. And then suddenly I had another idea. I should be, maybe better become a singer. I started to sing and sing. And even though I I didn't, I like to sing, but I, I wasn't able to go places, you know, to practice rehearse but I kept singing while I was working and those things because I wanted to become a singer maybe and then travel around the planet that was my plan I never even imagined yes I could be able to travel to the USA by cleaning so suddenly when my uh, when one of my sister called me and said that it was an opportunity to travel to the USA by cleaning as a cleaning person Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. It was like a, a shock for me. Really? Is this a possible? Is this a dream? Oh my gosh, it was unbelievable how it all started. Um, the lady interviewed me and then it, suddenly I was able to fly to this place. Not only I was able to 
fly because the, um, since I did come up with a work visa, I had my flight ticket and when I arrived to this place, I already had a job and I already had a food that was included. So it was a wonderful. I worked, of course, a lot of hours and did not speak English. I did speak a little bit English, only the numbers and only ABC, some of the English words. And it was kind of challenging also while when I got here to the United States. It was the, I, oh my gosh, what should I do? Just learn English, blah, blah, blah. I, when they were talking, I could hear noises, but I could not understand the English words, but I decided to just study and review the books in English and keep reading and reading and reading. So I learned English, which also is a great help for my job. While I go to my job, I can be, I am able to understand in English now, and I can even communicate with you and motivate you that it's unbelievable. It's it's a miracle for me to be here. This is my promised land where there's honey and milk. I'm so happy when I got here. It, it, is, it I was just staring every single thing. The beautiful place, uh, all green. When I got here, it was a nice place. I love this place. I was just, every single thing, I was just amazed. Like a, a sink had a hot water, warm water, and you could put it hot or cold, and you could wash your dishes in the dishwasher and microwave and even the refrigerators had a, a water filter so you could just uh, press the button and get some water from the straight from the refrigerator it was everything nice and the, inside the house was always nice and warm like a 70 degrees 72 degrees even though if it, if it is a winter or summer it is a beautiful place i was amazed of it amazed amazed for every little single thing and i'm so happy that i am here and other jobs that i consider here maybe go to the nursing school but um cleaning job changed me my job definitely i never imagined and i still do clean it and it's i like to clean and it's it's a wonderful for me to help wonderful thing that I could be able to help others who needs help with cleaning. So it's wonderful that my life changed for the better and now I would like to help my family and friends since I'm, uh, I would like to have more neighbors and maybe travel all around the world and keep dreaming big things, maybe become like an entrepreneur, expand my cleaning and that's what I'm working on. I'm going to be probably, definitely, definitely, sometimes our mind just wants to do good things, but our body keeps being just sitting down or something. So I'm going, I need to just motivate myself and keep learning about how can I increase my job, cleaning job, and God, God's willing, I'll be finding more help, uh, at least for the beginning, couple of helps and then clean more places to earn more money and then eventually become an entrepreneur and maybe that's willing i maybe we should be dreaming good things that eventually invest our money maybe like a, in real estate and then that's uh, willing to travel the world that is my dream and help others motivate like this channel motivate others anything is possible but we should be doing if we have something to and some dream we should definitely keep dreaming like I was in Peru dreaming in the United States every day of my life and suddenly I was here and it's a big blessing. It's a miracle for me, seriously. So I'm so glad that I'm talking to you and keep, keep motivating and keep working on your dream. Through God, anything is possible. Okay, so I'm so happy to talk to you. Stay well and Share this video if you liked it. Motivating ourselves, our children, that we are in this place where it's a beautiful, very convenient. And compared to third world countries, this is the best place that I, I am enjoying. And I'm so thankful about it. Bye bye and subscribe and hit the bell. So in order to get a new videos when we upload it, the new ones. So see you later and bye bye. It's my 
I feel like motivated to yes to motivate you and what uh, when I motivate others I I motivate myself too and that makes me happy so I just uh, say bye-bye now see you in the next video